Hello, welcome to G Cinema. After breaking box office records and drawing very strong reviews, Godzilla Minus One has officially ended its theatrical run. To mark the occasion, a special video was shared on the official X account for Toho's Godzilla franchise. The video touts some of the accomplishments of the movie, stating in the footage, Godzilla returned and made history. Also mentioned are the crushed box office records and the movie's nomination for an Academy Award. The post caption further stated, together, we made history. Thank you for supporting Godzilla Minus One. At the box office, Godzilla Minus One will be ending its run with more than $104 million earned worldwide, quite a profit for a film that was reportedly made with a budget of $15 million. It earned more than $56 million at the domestic box office, which was also history-making. While this passed the Oscar-winning movie Parasite as the number three highest grossing foreign language film in the history of the US box office, it fell just shy of reaching the $57 million mark set by Life is Beautiful. If the film one day gets a re-release, as is the case sometimes with very popular films, it could end up reaching that benchmark as well. Before it don't forget to subscribe. Godzilla Minus One Minus Color brought in some additional ticket sales. For the final week of Godzilla Minus One screening in theaters, the black and white remastered version was available to watch in the United States. This version of the movie, dubbed Godzilla Minus One Minus Color, drew some filmgoers back to the theater to watch the alternate take after first enjoying the color version. This is partly because of the great efforts that were put into the remaster, going beyond simply taking out the color. The original 1954 Godzilla is, of course, in black and white, the filmmaker said. But that in and of itself made us interested in what a Godzilla film would look like created with modern technology in black and white. But simply removing the color alone wouldn't evoke the same type of emotion we were trying to instill in audiences, which is why we went back to the colorist, and we actually MASK ed different portions of each shot and adjust the contrast by hand, as opposed to simply hitting the remove color button. This process makes it look like it was compassed by a professional still photographer. While it's not yet clear what the next Godzilla movie from Toho will be, the director of Godzilla Minus One has shared his hopes that he will be lucky enough to come back to make a direct sequel. Thanks for watching this video.